Dear Father, we were already talking about this, but I want to record it for my journal um, between me and you. What I was talking about was I was just feeling so thankful. I was feeling so thankful for being able to go and buy stuff without fear of, you know, Mark being upset or that I'm doing so wrong. Um, yeah, I have to maneuver my budget and think and this and that, but it might, <laughs> all right, it does make me feel good for one. I love to do it. To give gifts to people. To give and help people. And what I asked you was, okay, first of all, you gave the idea to my mind, which I shared with Mark, and he went along with it, and we did it. And what we did is, I'm not working, or I'm not bringing any money in. But the idea you gave was to, for Mark to allow me to handle the things I normally handle without questioning Without worrying about that, trusted me to take care of, and that was the yard, keeping the yard mowed. That was groceries. I have a grocery budget. It's mine to do. If I save money, I can save money for me or whatever. And it was also Morgan's chores. And it was, um, what else was it? Oh, cigarette money, which, with your help, after Friday, I will not be even smoking the fake cigarette. That will save tons. Save tons. Um, but then I'll still get marks. And I guess it's one energy drink a day. Also, the mean beans for me will go away. So I'm just so thankful, first of all, for that. It makes me... I know I'm practicing not going in my feelings and emotions, but it makes me feel a little bit more normal. Like, like back how I used to be, you know, that I, I had some money in my wallet. I took care of things. I was able to do that. So Marcus went along with this. I truly believe you gave the idea as a way to help us remain unified. And things, this has always brought contention between us. And I just feel like, I just know you did. I know you did. Um, so I, I'm so thankful, and I'm thankful to be able to have this budget and to think and to do and to handle and all these things. It makes me feel, like I said, like like I've always been and now not able to because I don't make any money. You know, I'm not bringing it into the house. But here's what I want to record that I ask you because I know you'll answer me. What I asked for from you was, you know, Lord, how you have put it in my heart. And how you have built my faith and trust in you on money, finances, bills, anything to do with the earthly needs. You have helped me greatly. And the measure of faith I have, I'm so thankful for. Um, so what I ask, I'm asking of you, Lord, is to, in the wise, amazing, not expected ways that you do this, I'm asking you um, somehow to add to my budget so if it's okay and pleasing to you and if my motivation of my heart of giving money gifts helping whatever is not impure it's not selfish like I don't want to I don't even I don't want you to answer if the motivation of my heart for asking is that I can get gifts help people this that and the other so that I will look like a good person I will be thought well of by people, um, anything like that, I don't want to be a part of. But, if it's okay with you, if it's pleasing to you, and if I enjoy it, I'm asking you to add money to my budget in some way, shape, form, or fashion, or the means to be able to, if I know somebody's power is going to be turned off, they need $260. I can do that. And more and more, you're teaching me about when I do for others. Sometimes it's okay, but the majority of the time, do it and not let them know about it. Um, give anonymously. So it's just between me and you. That helps to keep away from pride and being puffed up. So you've taught me that. 
that's the way I found best. But now gifts, I love to give gifts. Gifts that a lot of thought have went into to make a person feel special, to make them feel cared about. You know, that kind of stuff. So, like I said, if that's pleasing, because you know what's best. You know my heart. I'm just asking you to, to do that. I am. I'm asking you to do that because I love doing that. And I thank you for how you've helped Mark and I. Please, Lord, give me the heart to be responsible with these earthly matters so that I will be faithful and honest and responsible um, with heavenly matters, Lord, to do with praying for others, to do with loving others, to do with eternal matters. Seems like there's scripture about that. If you can't even be faithful in this, well, I know one scripture, it makes me think of it, even though it might not necessarily be about money, and that is about loving. It said, if you can't love your brother and sister that you can see, how are you going to love God whom you can't see or you've never seen? Really, that applies in so many different situations and ways. Oh, that's a beautiful tree. Beautiful. I don't know all about tree. Lord, you're so amazing and wonderful. I thank you, Lord. I thank you so much. Thank you for starting my car at Dollar General, Lord. Because, oh, I was, I was, I was like, okay, Lord, I need some help. You know how people will pass by. They might not offer for help. There was one kind woman yesterday that did, but it needs a starter, I guess. I got to put it in the shop Thursday. I just thank you for being able to have the means to take care of that. I ask you to please help the pain with Mark's mouth and tooth until we can go get that taken care of, Lord. You're so faithful and good. I have so much joy in my heart, Lord. Quiet joy, still joy, you know. Things in my heart that I ponder that only you know how much they mean to me. I can't really even share with other people. I just thank you, Lord. I thank you. I have so much to thank you for. I have so much to thank you. I just wanted to get that down, Lord. I'm just about home. Just thankful for this air condition in this car. Lord, you know I went two years so hot. No air conditioning. We went one year, one summer, with no air conditioning in our house. And so this year, two people I found out about that don't have any air condition in this hot. And I know it's probably we're just spoiled here in the West, the Western world. There's people, and I don't even know the idea of an air condition. And just you take, you give us things that we don't have to have to live. You give us things we don't, they are not needs. You give us so many luxuries that we take for granted. And I just want to say thank you that I have an air condition. Just to have this car. Thank you. Trusting you to keep me in all my ways, Lord, because I'm acknowledging you in all my ways to trust you, let you lead and guide, help me to accept rebuke through me and through people. Do not despise correction because it's your loving, fatherly way to correct those you love, your children. Teach me more and more, Lord, about loving others, more and more about not walking in my feelings and emotions. All for your glory, Lord. All for your glory. And I know I've got to grow more and more humble to receive these great blessings and gifts of, of eternity, eternal value. I know I have to have humility. I do, Lord, more and more. And to have this because there's so much room to be prideful, to be 
tempt to think you're such a good person. That's, that's huge, Lord. I mean, even um, what's so huge is you're showing me this, that the pride that can come. I'm trying to find my fake cigarette. The pride that can come from growing in you, Lord. The pride that can come for eyes of understanding that you've opened, we can take credit for that. That's amazing. I'm so sorry for that human nature. But where did my thing go? That's what I'm trying to find. And Lord, I don't know. I, you know, we have plenty. We have lots. I don't, one thing about me sharing the prayers, Lord, is I'm a little bit concerned, not a little bit, I'm just concerned about, um, let me sit just right here. I'm a little concerned about, you know, where you said, do your prayers in private. Don't, don't do them for some people to think that you're this such godly and holy good person. That's what I'm concerned about when I share my prayers. <clears throat> and you know, Lord, I don't share all of them. I mean, not at all. I just, Lord, if, if my main motivation is not to sh in sharing these prayers is not that it might help somebody. It might correct somebody. It might convict somebody. It might expose some darkness. It might draw somebody to you. It might create a hunger and a desire for something that they're lacking. If my desire and my pure motivation is not for that, I'm asking you to let me know so I can stop doing that, Lord. Stop doing that. So, that's all I know, Lord. Help me. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you, Lord. Help me to trust you more and more. Now it's becoming a clean out session in the car here. But I, Lord, I just got so much to be thankful for. And I can never thank you enough for all these things. Anything you give me, bless me with, give me light on and understanding, gifts, just victory that I get, the growth I get in walking with you and becoming more and more like you, mature, wise, and growing up, Lord. You said it's only for the building up of the body of Christ. It's only for the building up of the church. That's what you said. I want that to be my motivation. That I can truly rejoice with the body, my sisters in Christ you've given me, which is I'm so enjoying. It's either to rejoice in them, with them and their and their victory, in their hope, in their blessings, in their answered prayers, or hey honey, it's to um, share in their suffering and their burdens, their trials. They're messing up, whatever. So, please help me. Let that be my main motivation for anything I do, Lord. To do it as unto you. I know you will. I know you'll keep me.